with your trash in it is not picking up your trash. Got him. Sheesh! Scope switch. I don't really know where to begin on the scope switch because I feel like there hasn't been a lot of healthy dialogue with it, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, a, it gets me hot and bothered. I think it looks sick. They nailed the looks, but I wanna have healthy dialogue about the scope switch. So if you're gonna get in the comments and, and be a clown, then actually just go ahead and do that. I love it. You can you can hate on it all you want. You can uh, you can love on it all you want. But I would like to hear what you guys have to say about it because I don't know if I've even after like three days of shooting this, and I'm not kidding you. We we came out here and we filmed a lot. I really wanted to get a good feel for this. A lot of it we didn't record, and I still don't know if I have a good feel for it. But we're gonna talk about it. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Just letting you guys know. I want to hear from you. Get in the comments and share your thoughts. Maybe wait to the end of the video until you hear my thoughts. Or don't. Just, anyway. And Optics Planet! I was gonna do some kind of joke with this, but I forgot what it was. But thank you Optics Planet for sponsoring the video. If there's any accoutrements you've seen in the video, I always implore you to check out Optics Planet. Use the coupon code MICA7 where you can save yourself some dough on anything you see that you like. Or just anything, really. So... The second sponsor for the video, shooting surplus, near and dear spot in my heart. Had a lot of fun with them last weekend in Louisiana. Same coupon code, Mica7. Kind of streamlines, kind of streamlines it, makes it easy. Um, uh, check out shooting surplus. Also, some of my uh, my homies and Americana Pipe Dream Apparel with Mill Serp, all the Mill Serp you could ever need. I tried to give my a Barack Obama impression to kind of play off of it. Admin's channel, but it was bad. So I cut it out of the last video. Maybe here, ready, ready, ready? ready. <laughs> Americana Pipe Dream Apparel. Coming at you with 7%, 10% with the coupon code Boston. Boston saves you uh, money across site-wide. Americana Pipe Dream Apparel, Mill Serp. It's so good, it's scary. I, I, I keep trying to warn you guys. And the scariest part about their Mill Serp is there's the coupon code Bussin, okay, and that saves you even more money on already like ridiculously cheap milk syrup. I don't know how they do it, to be completely honest, like voodoo magic. Anyway, getting on the video. Honestly, I'd say the biggest downside to the scope switch of anything we've listed today is it just looks like you're stroking your gun. Like there's no, there's no way that any male that buys this and owns this isn't going to immediately think about something very familiar that they did earlier that morning. You know, at least there is, there's a, a plus side to that. It's very familiar and it's predominantly male users using this. And so it is going to feel pretty good for most guys and for any female shooters that are gonna use it, it could help them out, you know, get a little, I can't. The scope switch. I honestly have filmed this video twice already and this is my third time filming it because every time I go to edit it, I think of something else that I did not talk about and it's a tough one. It's a tough one to talk about, especially because there's so many just hot or cold opinions. You can't just like be in the middle on the scope switch. Half the people are like, that's the dumbest thing ever created. You're stupid. If you like it, you're a shill. I don't even know how that makes sense, but uh, people are saying like it's the epitome of things that you don't need or innovation that was never welcomed. I have my own opinions. I'm gonna share them with you. Now, full disclaimer, I did receive this for free. I'll even just show you guys the screenshots of how I acquired this. 
<laughs> they didn't pay me. They didn't tell me to give them a good review. I just said I was going to film something cool and cinematic with it. And they're like, yeah, cool. Sounds good. And uh, so here we are. I don't even know if I installed it properly. Let's get into it. So the scope switch. For those of you that this is a new product that you haven't seen, if this is your first impression of it, let me explain to you what the scope switch does. The scope switch is essentially, uh, like the name implies, a switch or lever that you move, and in turn, it magnifies your scope, okay? So it's a kind of one-handed operation uh, you, you don't need to ever break grip in order to magnify your scope. I don't think I've ever really been in a situation as a civilian where I've ever needed to magnify my scope that quickly. In fact, I think uh, it was either Hop or Brassfax said it really well. Uh, if you ever need to magnify your scope to like 10 power as a civilian in a self-defense situation, you're probably gonna go to jail. It's probably, they're probably not gonna, they're probably not gonna play nice with that one. So, uh, as far as a civilian goes, where do I believe this fits in? Probably three gunners, I, I, and I'm not even a three gunner, so I could be wrong. I'd, if there is any three gunners uh, watching this, I'd actually really love to hear your opinions, because I see a lot of people talking about this, saying like, oh, it's, it's awesome for the competition scene, is it? We'll just give a, a brief demonstration. On 1x magnification, there's my close shot. Now let's say I need to go out to like 300 or something, cool. So I just went from one to eight in like a nanosecond and it does that very well. The question at hand is, do you need that? I don't know. After filming this three times, two times, I still don't know. What I've come to, to glean from it is, I think it's less so how fast I need to magnify to shoot versus how fast I need to magnify to identify. I think this is a, a more of a law enforcement, as I see it, kind of tool. As, as Ellie, if you have like a patrol rifle, and I could be wrong, I, I am just a, a, a mere shooter cameraman who knows nothing. So take everything you're seeing with a grain of salt. But here's my opinion. If you're a law enforcement officer, and you have a patrol rifle that sits nice and pretty in your car, and there's no rocks, no dust, no none of that, I don't think, you know, having this would be a bad idea. If there's some goofy kid, you know, with his cell phone, standing at the police officer, maybe like, crouch behind a car. You know, he's trying to film all the police action and it's just a black cell phone. Man, if, if a cop, <laughs> it'd be awesome if he could get a quick identification. You know, is it a is it a terrorist or is it a, just a kid that wants to go viral on, on Twitter or X now? That's nice because I can simply, whoop, cool. It's just a wacky teenager. I remember growing up, my mom would always be like, you're not allowed to play airsoft because the cops are gonna think it's a real gun and they're gonna shoot you. I mean, this wouldn't have fixed that scenario. It still looks like a real gun and they'd still shoot me. So I do think there are some downsides and some positives to the scope switch. We will start with my biggest downside and that was assembly. I am no gunsmith and I particularly hated putting this together. I did, I, I, I thoroughly disliked it, in fact, I wasn't even the one who put it together. Our diversity hire over at Onward, Kenny, put it together for me, and he was like cursing and, and, and doing all sorts of crazy things. I had to actually give him a, a, a scope as like payment because he was so annoyed with how bad the installation was. I mean, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 screws <laughs> to, on this thing to put it together. And they all have their own, you know, torque specs. And, and then there's more that you have to pay attention to while assembling it. That is, you know, the tension of this cable right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so the tension of these cables, it is semi difficult to get them, you know, torqued properly. And then you have to, kind of undo these bolts and keep pulling it through. It's not the worst, because you only have to do it once, so I, I, I'm not gonna harp on it too much or count it like too much against them. Once it's done, it's done, and then you don't, you don't have to worry about it. I don't really know how else you'd go about simplifying this design. A lot of people have been saying, well, you know, it is generation one, and I'm not an engineer, so maybe there is a way to simplify it, but seems pretty, pretty cut and dry to me, unless they had like a dedicated scope uh, to go with it, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother ball game. Like, anyway, 
one thing that I missed in the last couple of videos is I put this in a very specific spot. Uh, I wanted it right here. And so it also comes with covers, so that like dust covers, so that way you don't have to have these exposed wires. And I'm sure I could have cut them to size and, and, and you know, done that, but the insulation was already getting too, too annoying. So I do have these exposed wires, which does lead to one other topic about the scope switch. That poses a big issue for the scope switch. If, uh, if these get down and dirty in there, some rocks, then you don't have a scope switch. Now, luckily, I mean, it's not like crazy to, to clear all that out. Now I have a scope switch again, but there is multiple entrance points for mine. I, you know, for me specifically, I have rocks that get down in there. I have rocks that get in here. It's gonna take some pretty serious chunks of rocks to get this thing to shut down. I, I don't think just your standard dirt will shut it down. I'm sure the pulleys will do a decent enough job. There's enough slack to where it, it should stay functional, I think. Like I said, law enforcement, three gunners, civilians now i'm not going to say as a civilian you can't own this a lot of people are saying if you own this as a civilian it's just dumb i'm not here to tell you how to spend your money like like everyone else okay if you want this you can also just buy it you, if you just want to have fun with it you can just buy it because you are your own person <laughs> you can you can go to the range and enjoy the range however you want um now however that fun is going to cost you like 700 dollars these are not cheap. I think it's like $625, $7. I'll put the, 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 the correct price. And if that justifies a sick range time for you, a sick look, a rifle that you're going for, something you want, a novelty, then get it. I mean, no one's no one's stopping you. I, 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 I seriously can't fathom why everyone is like being so hot or cold on this product. It, the guys behind uh, Antimatter Industries are also the people who made the Flux Raider snake staff systems, and I, I love the Flux Raider, another really innovative product. Uh, probably the first pistol chassis worth a, a, a shoot, worth a crud, if we're if we're in speaking in Mormon terms. Let that soak in. Uh, stupid. Okay, don't do what I did if you do buy a scope switch. My wedding ring is getting torn up, so this is probably one of my favorite rifle setups that I currently have. It's the uh, Ripcord, uh, what, LDR-15 on a 16-inch rifle, and it has grip tape. When you are using the, the Gok Gok 4000 or the, the Happy Ending switch or whatever, stroke your rifle 5000, it, you can see my hands. I, it is getting torn up. It's not a problem with antimatter. It's a problem with me putting this on this particular rifle. I knew what I was getting into when I installed it, but it's already here. The rifle's sick. It's actually become one of my favorite rifles. And <laughs> I'm just dealing with it, man. It's, it's, it lets you know that it's moving, that's for sure. And uh, it exfoliates. So that's nice. For any of you guys wondering uh, what scope I have on here, this is the Primary Arms PLX compact the one to eight probably one of my favorite lpvos 30 mil tube super compact super lightweight ultra wide field of view and i feel like it integrates with the scope switch better than most scopes it's a nice really smooth uh operation i feel like some scopes have a very heavy throw on adjusting the the magnification and uh like the voodoo for example the old voodoos used to be really stiff and this one feels really nice. So I admire innovation. I admire when companies do try something new. So I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that this did come out. I do enjoy it. For someone like myself, I do have quite a bit of rifles uh, that I can toy with or bring to the range. And so this is just kind of another tool in the arsenal. I'm glad that I have it. I'll just say that. I, I, I don't need it but I am glad that I have it. I think that it's a lot of fun and I don't fit into the use case where it's a necessary item for me, but that's okay. Because if, if, we're, if we're only gonna talk about needs versus wants, then food, water, and shelter. Why are you buying anything else? Uh, yeah, the need argument is always a weird one for the gun guys. A lot of gun guys will be like, you don't need that on your gun, but then they'll also argue you need a gun and then counter argue when people say, why do you need a gun? It's just this big old like, 
you of of arguing and it, it, it it's also tiresome it's definitely a complex product and a complex price so that is the scope switch i let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I really want to hear from you. If you have something productive to say, please say it. If you have something unproductive to say, please say it. <laughs> uh, guys, I have a, a link tree down below. It actually does kick back some, some affiliate links to the channel. If you want to support the channel, um, go ahead and click those, those links and, and do your shopping. It's one of those things where if you click the link and buy something within 30 days, you know, I get a very tiny percentage, but it adds up, you know, it keeps the channel running, ammo's expensive and all that kind of stuff. So I humbly ask that you check the link tree out. And I'm thinking about starting a Patreon and maybe doing like additional content. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love you.